Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the first episode of Kimetsu no Yaiba Mugen Reshahen. And yeah, I have also reacted to the main Kimetsu no Yaiba series, if you want to check that out on the, out on the channel. I have not yet seen the movie, which kind of brings me to a, a real quick question I wanted to ask you guys, is whether or not I should, if I should watch the movie after this, or if I should just go ahead and watch the rest of this series. Because I my, under, my understanding is that they kind of cover the same thing, but like with, you know, minor differences. So I wasn't quite sure what to do. So I was kind of hoping maybe you guys could give me your opinions, maybe help me make a decision whether or not I should watch the movie or just continue with this. All right. Because without, whichever one you do is going to affect the other if it covers the same kind of stuff. So and I just kind of want to ask real quick. But uh, yeah, I'm really excited to get in more into Kimetsu no Yaiba. It is a really cool show. And yeah, let's check it out, see what Rengoku's up to, and also our other characters as well. But I do know Rengoku has a pretty big role in the movie. That's one of the few things I do know about it. So yeah, let's jump on in and see how this first episode goes. Three, two, one, play. Aniplex Shueisha and Ufotable presents. <laughs> and and Ufotable production. And it, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not sure that's proper grammar. I'm going to let it go, though. Oh, that's a train. That is a train. You know, the Mugen train. That's probably probably not good. This man's dead, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, when you're on a train, you're really limited in where you can escape to. Well, damn. I mean, as soon as I saw him, I had a feeling he was going to die. So I didn't get too emotionally attached. Demon Slayer, Kimetsu no Yaiba, the Mugen Train. Flame Hashira Kyo, Kyojuro Rengoku. Missing person. Rengoku's not the missing person, is he? Noodles. We just, we just started the movie and somebody apparently wants food. Understandable. Oh, that's Rengoku. <laughs> yeah, I think I think it is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. That hair, it's just, there's no mistake in it. Also, I think he likes the noodles. I'll give it for you. He's not too bothered by it. Yeah, it looks so good as expected of you, Photoball. Just everything. <laughs> Is there any other way to eat it? Wow, the animation. It's almost distracting me from the dialogue. <laughs> well, that's good. Oh, man, that looks so... Just get it all on there. It's a work of arts. Seeing it created a privilege. Oh. Wow. Pretty cool. Pretty cool guy. He didn't give any to me, so. Mid middling levels of cool. <laughs> I think that guy spilled something. Slasher. Brutally murdered, I assume that's what we saw first the first shot. Using trains for transportation. How diabolical. <laughs> Title drop. It would make me a bit nervous to utilize it. <laughs> Back on subject. Train shed. Like it's an animal. <laughs> so I've heard. Um, good idea. It's so weird seeing someone besides uh, Tanjiro, like, in a protagonist role, you know, doing these 
Yeah, I buy Kima Tooth stuff. Fuku. That's her name? Fuku, like, uh, like clothes? That's how it goes sometimes. I've definitely heard that. In fact, I think episode one of Kimetsu no Yaiba told us about a uh, like very, very similar thing. It's a bit of a callback, which is cool. Old people. Old people know what's up. I wouldn't be so sure. Fuku. Future. Future. War, whatever they're called. I forget what they're called. Sword person. Beef Nabe Bento. I think you may have a customer. <laughs> Imagine this man just appears in front of you. I don't think you'd be ready for it. Have you seen any Oni around here? He's just, yeah, very, very straightforward kind of person, which I think we knew that. So, I mean, Tanjiro kind of is too, to an extent. <laughs> Kind of shaking there. Yeah, drop it. Yeah, I was, I was thinking the same thing actually. Oh, don't throw it. Luckily for you, he's probably not gonna get too mad at you because he's a pretty nice guy. Don't, don't waste the food. Also, is that his catchphrase? The fact that you can say that, you're kind of blessed. Because most of the people that do know they exist aren't happy to know. Usually because of the context they found out. His hair is just so blinding. And you can definitely tell us who are related. He is a flame Hashira. You don't understand the power of this man. <laughs> we really need a business, please, sir. I'm sorry I threw something at you. Please, bye. <laughs> well, there you go. And I guess uh, <laughs> we got a pack meal over there. Good idea. I really don't want this grandmother to die, so let's take some precautions. I don't want you to die either. I'm just saying she's more likely. Because, you know, the young one's the one that will get that, you know, vengeance fueled, pick up the blade, dedicate their life to it. You know, the, the Tanjiro situation, right? If anyone was out of those two was going to do that, it would mostly most likely be her, which would leave the grandma in the dying role, as messed up as that sounds. But I don't, I don't want either of them to die. Just to, just to clarify. Are you afraid of him? <laughs> Would you like a bento? I got I got plenty. <laughs> yeah, what is suspicious about it? Suspicious, suspicious about any of this. <laughs> oh, I'm aware. Don't mind me. Just take a bento. Well-equipped, says you. <laughs> Man, just some of shots just look so good. I just gotta jump off a moving train? <laughs> I mean, I, I just, why not? <laughs> when you're a larger-than-life and powerful Batman character, you just, you can just do that. <laughs> Oh, 
So I'm expecting to just like get no Tanjiro this episode. Ah, uh, Mugen says it right on the front. So that's probably it's probably it. Yeah, you get to see him in the title the title cards. It's great. It's a win Shinobu's movie. Mugen, you know, in case you didn't see it the first time. I'm trying to help, sir. Um <laughs> sounds sounds legit. And then I gotta kick out the guy with food, I guess. <laughs> Tatsu. Makes me think Tatsu, yeah. <laughs> I bet. Tomorrow night. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, that's okay. I didn't notice one, but I'll take your word for it. Yeah, that's probably Anoni. Ah, uh, Randy was G. Uh, good thing he arrived. He didn't even do anything yet. Uh, what is wrong with you? You don't waste food like that. Somebody else could have eaten it. There was no reason to do that. Yeah, you're going to pay now. That's just like your opinion, demon. Ugh, stop doing that. Man, that cheek is going to need a band-aid. <laughs> you tell him. Okay. I mean, if anyone can handle you, it would be Hashida, so my money's on him. I mean, we'll see. Oh, uh, look at all that, like, dust getting kicked up. I'd rather you let him go. I love his cloak and the flames on it and everything. Uh Yeah, I look forward to him killing you. <laughs> you never even detected us. <laughs> You're gonna run away. That is a the height of praise I can give you. Nice. Oh, yeah, is that, what, is that what we were talking about earlier? Does that what makes sense? Yeah, that's what we were talking about earlier. You don't know that for sure. This demon kind of looks like a, like a djinn. You really think we're going to let you do that? Uh, travesty. Oh, you better not go to the bento. Uh, yeah, you are just begging to be killed, aren't you? Uh, don't kill the kid. <laughs> oh. Uh, did, yep, he just did it. So, I uh, I hear you're fast. Uh, apparently not as fast as him. 
But yeah, unfortunately, you know, it's not that easy to kill a demon, but still satisfying to watch. Jesus, man. Okay, I, I, I do admit you're fast. I will I will give you that, but we're still going to kill you. Just, just give us a minute. <laughs> I like that shot. Yeah, we got somebody to stab. Yeah, we can smell him. But he has a lead on us, that's what's got me concerned. At least we know where he's going. <laughs> Just... Yeah, I want to see flames. Yeah, that's what I basically what I was gonna say. I want to see flames around him as he runs. You know, it's like when you draw flames on the side of your car to make it go faster. Kind of, kind of like that. Please hurry up and get to safety. Oh, jeez. The color scheme makes me think of Sonic too, which I. Which, I, I don't want him to remind me of Sonic. Sonic's cool, this guy's not. <laughs> oh, go, no, no. Uh, you need to run, like, right now. <sighs> She's not running. <laughs> And Goku, you really got to catch up now. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> yeah, we got our own weapons. But uh, the bad news is this could definitely be Grandma sacrificing herself scene, which I... It's not the worst thing, but it's... I want to avoid it. Because uh, that's really what it's looking like right now. Oh, okay. Oh, no. This is not better. This is definitely not better. Rengoku. <laughs> oh, that. Damn, that was so awesome. I cannot imagine a cooler entrance. Oh, that was sick. Do it again, please. Yeah, I bet you appreciate me now. I expect the next bento to be half off. I saw Blunt got nervous for a second, but then I realized it was him. This is really not the time to collapse. But, uh, yeah, I think that may be a more of a high-priority target. Unless you want to get stabbed in the back. Which, I would have a problem with that. Did you not see his fiery whoosh entrance? He's pretty fast himself. Are you triggered? Are you upset? Good. <laughs> this guy's seriously obsessed with speed. I guess when it's like your only skill. <laughs> wow, I think he actually he got the head that time. So maybe that one was actually a, a killing blow. <laughs> yeah, she was not ready for tonight. <laughs> Oh, oh, she's okay. That is very interesting. She's seen a similar warrior back in her day. <laughs> Probably like, uh, not successor, pre predecessor. You know, the same art and all that. Flame. Which explains why she's, you know, knows about the demons and all that. Howdy? Is that the cloak thing? Otherwise, I don't know what a howdy is. I don't think it was him specifically because he doesn't look that old. 
it's got to be his his like his predecessor, you know, the one who taught him rights. Father <laughs> explains why he looks so similar, right? I should have picked him on that. Family business. <laughs> I'm sorry I doubted you, grandmother. I mean, yeah, you shouldn't have to live your life in fear of demons. So. Of course. I don't think he really, really took damage. I mean, there's still a movie's worth of plot left, so, uh, there's still stuff to do. <laughs> yeah, I mean, obviously it wasn't the same demon. This is like a, you know, anime original kind of thing. Prequel to the movie. So, it was pretty obvious. <laughs> it tomorrow is already today. I've heard to resume operation. <laughs> Things are definitely going to happen. I can pretty much assure you. I can pretty much guarantee you of that. Definitely need to bring some bento on the trip, though. Yeah, that's her. Does she have a name? I'm pretty sure she has a name. <laughs> Trust me, it's it's more than enough. <laughs> I mean, yeah, saving their lives, I think that entitles you to at least, you know, one free bento. <laughs> I'm glad you two are still alive. Well, will, will we see his father? Because that'd be cool, but... Dude, most trains just have, like, the name of the train, like, on a sign on, on the front of it. Because I feel like I haven't seen that much. And they keep showing it. <laughs> Which I appreciate it adds to the cool factor. I'm just curious. Yeah, this is the scene. Yeah, this is the end, end of Kima to the Yaiba. Although, no, I don't think we saw her in that, though. But I guess she was around off screen. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long story. <laughs> you know, 20 or something episodes of story. That was interesting. You should be wearing a face mask, sir. I'm on a train. I'm on a train. Everybody look at me because I'm riding a Mugen train. Even broke his chopsticks properly. As expected of a Hashira. <laughs> I have I should have seen that coming that was such a that was a perfect way to end off the episode it brings back the catchphrase you know it heavily involves a bento which uh, was also which is also heavily tied to the episode plot because bento girls were attacked and saved who does his hair <laughs> you would not be able to you would lose let's just let's just be honest you would lose oh 
on your best day, Hashida would own you. He's something. I'm not sure words can do it justice. Mm -hmm. Okay, what did he what did he find out? Okay, I would love to hear about that. Because you know how they feel about, like, uh, you know, Gyu. Because of Shinobu. Okay, best place to start. <laughs> I believe that. The hair does a... Yeah. An owl. <laughs> yeah, nobody seems to have the negative opinion of him, really. So that's that says a lot, considering how what a diverse group we have of these people. Ba ba bum. Okay, yeah, I know that's a real bad, bad impression. Oh, yeah, he exists too. <laughs> uh, he actually talks to me. Yeah, that's that's pretty much what I got from that. Everybody loves a flame, Hashira. <laughs> Oh, wow. They actually ran into him. <laughs> Literally. Deep sleep. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. Suzuku written in fire. That's that's kind of awesome. I love the extra mile that they go through with this. Really, you know, making it feel like Rengoku was a protagonist, you know? So... Oh uh, yeah, that was the first episode of Kimetsu no Yaiba uh, Mugen Reshahen. Right? And it was really good. I, I liked it. I mean, it was it was pretty pretty self-contained, right? Which in itself is pretty uncommon for Kimetsu no Yaiba because it does have its uh, arcs for the most part, right? But this was, you know, we showed up, we had a bad guy, we f fought the bad guy, we defeated the bad guy, and then we move on to the next thing. I mean, it, you can say it's part of the train arc, technically but it was still very self-contained like that slasher is not gonna show up again he's not gonna be on the train he's not gonna show up in the movie right so uh it's very self-contained in, in, in that way right so that itself gave it a very different feel on top of just having a literal different protagonist right so there was a lot given a different feel and also it just uh also the feeling of just being back with the show, right? Because I haven't seen Kimetsu no Yaiba since the, the original Kimetsu no Yaiba, the main, the main series, right? So uh, it felt good to be back, definitely. And it definitely did a good job of building up that hype for the next arc, like the train arc, the movie slash rest of the series, right? Because we're on a train, and the train, of course, looks amazing because you're floatable, uh, <clears throat> obviously. So, yeah, speaking of you floatable, yeah, just a lot of good shots, a lot of just great visuals. I wasn't gonna just stop and comment on each and every one of them, but you saw them. There were some, there were some really good ones. I definitely liked the one with the crow, where like he shows the crow, the camera kind of like moves downwards, and we see the other lower rank warriors. I can't remember what they're called. It's bugging me, but you know we see them show up like, like I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, hopefully you know the shot I'm talking about, but yeah, it was pretty early on, early on in the episode. I quite like that one. <laughs> one of the more uh, standout shots for me. But yeah, just getting to see so much Rengoku, right? Because up until now, I mean, not a kind of the movie, all, we, all we've really seen of him was just like kind of part of the overall collective of other Pashida and the episode where they all kind of showed up. And uh, that's pretty much it. But this was the first chance to really get some some focus, getting to see, like get a real good look at his personality, right? And that's, uh, you know, he's, he's a positive guy, very, very cheerful, very positive, very friendly, just very flashy. He's got that. That hair. Like, there's nothing to really dislike about the guy, honestly. So, yeah, I, I like him. I love the flames he's got going on. He's really dedicated to that theme, uh, for sure. He's a flame Hashira, and nobody would fail to guess that. You wouldn't walk up to him and say, hey, uh, you're a Hashira, right? Which one are you? Nobody would say that. Not a single solitary person would say that, unless they're being sarcastic. But, 
yeah, it's it's pretty clear. Like out of all the Hashira, he's the most clear on the type that he is. That's I think that's the best way to phrase it. But yeah, they really had me though. Like I was really expecting one of those two bento females to die. And luckily it didn't happen. But man, they they got pretty close. Like when that demon showed up before he did, but he ran like through the like up the Sorry, Nezuko. He ran up through the, the train tracks on his all fiery, like whoosh, and saved her. It was awesome. There was a lot of awesome stuff. Just I just love seeing Hashida in action in general because they're like at the top tier. So I mean seeing Chanjiro and his growth is all is all great and all. But seeing somebody who's already like kind of level capped and just awesome and just rushes in and just just decimates the opponents. It feels good. Feels good to watch. So but yeah, and he was definitely very hateable. Just Step into that bento. That's all it took. That is all it took for me to just never forgive him. And he added, added salt to the wound by trying to go up to the bento girls too. As if, as if stepping on their bento and calling it nasty and all that wasn't bad enough. He tries to kill them. Just awful. Awful. I'm glad he's dead. He sucked. He was horrible. And at the end of the episode, we actually did get to see Tanjiro and gang. I like how it showed the kind of the end of the, you know, the end of this main series here so you can make sure. Without, without a shadow of a doubt, know how it connects. So, yeah, that's, uh, it's, yeah. I am glad that I watched this before the movie, at the very least. I don't know how much of this is going to be relevant to the movie. Probably not a huge amount, unless they talk about the slasher and stuff, I, I, I guess. But, yeah, definitely, I do like it, though, because it feels more like a full, like a proper transition to the movie, if that makes sense, or to the events of the movie, at least. So, yeah, like I said, uh, be, feel free to let me know if you think I should just watch the movie now. Or just watch the rest of this and maybe go back to the movie at some point if I ever feel like it. Although, I don't know. I don't know how much value there is in doing both. But, like, that's that's why I'm asking you, right? Um, so, feel free to let me know your opinions on the, on the matter, right? Because I could go either way, really. I can kind of think of reasons for both, but... Uh, so yeah, really good stuff though. I am glad to get more Kimetsu no Yaiba in my life, for, for sure. And if you enjoyed this video, I hope you click the like button, subscribe, support me on Patreon so I can keep doing what I'm doing. And I hope to see you in the next video. Video. Until then, bye-bye.